All right, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. And today I want to give you guys a quick global top grossing update for the brand new AGL LR Goku double rates banner. Now I know this banner is literally about 12, maybe 13 hours old at this point, but I already have some very, very solid news to share with you guys. Now real quick, before we get into that, I wanna give a massive shout out to my boy Daffy from Payne's shop on Twitter for hooking me up with some extremely reasonable prices on my Dragon Stones. Now his shop is still fairly new at the moment, but the dude is very trustworthy and he provides some super quick and efficient service. So if you guys are looking to save quite a bit of money on your next Dragonstone purchase, either for this banner or to save for the five year anniversary, then make sure to hit him up in my description down below. All right, so with all that said, let's take a look at this top grossing situation. We are on the Sensor Tower website, which is a great site for just checking stats for iOS and Google Play apps. And as you can see, at the very top here in the number one spot is Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. So even though this banner is still very new, there's already at least one region out there that has hit top grossing overall in the iOS store. And believe it or not, that region is not France, at least not yet. The region I'm talking about right now is Portugal. So huge shout out and thank you to the Dokkan players in Portugal, especially the ones that wailed out on this AGL Goku banner. And uh, for the first time in a long time, Portugal has reached top grossing overall. Of course, we're talking about all categories, not just gaming because that doesn't count. So all categories, April 20th, 2020, which is today, and Portugal is the region that has hit top grossing first. Now, as far as some other regions, there are quite a few that are pretty close to number one. So if you look at France, for example, they're not there yet, but they're getting there. So last I checked, yeah, they're at number three. So within the next like maybe 12 hours, 24 hours, they could possibly get to that number one spot, at least for a little bit. For some reason, this Deezer music and playlist app is always at number one. I don't know what they're doing. Some other regions here are Luxembourg, which should be in the top five, I believe. Number three as well. Okay, so number three, for Luxembourg. And what else do we have? Uh, I think Macau is quite close too. So Macau is at number six at the moment. Hong Kong should be in the top five too. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, number five. And I think Italy is actually quite close as well. So as you can see, a lot of regions that are in the top, you know, 10, top five, top six. So number six for Italy right now. And uh, there is definitely a possibility that these regions will also reach that number one spot within the next, you know, 24 hours or so, right? Now, just for curiosity's sake, I do want to check my country of Canada. So let's see where we are at in the iOS store. Uh, okay, so we're currently at 19. You know what, last I checked, Last I checked, we were at number 20. So we actually moved up a spot since, you know, the last hour or two, which is pretty dope. Now, <laughs> obviously I don't think we're actually gonna get to number one, but this is the highest placement I've seen for Canada um, since the anniversary, I think last year, or maybe the download celebration. Um, Canada usually doesn't too, do too well for these top grossing things, but hey, you know what, it is what it is. I try to contribute as much as I can, but unfortunately, I can't carry the country, so yeah, I don't think we're gonna get there, but hey, number 20 or number 19, not too bad. And uh, as I said, man, Portugal is at number one now, so that means there's definitely the possibility that we will get some kind of top grossing reward over the course of this week, maybe tomorrow, maybe in a couple days, maybe on the weekend. Actually, I don't think it's ever on the weekend, but it should be sometime this week if we are to get top grossing rewards. Maybe not a lot, maybe like only seven stones, like that one for uh, the Super Saiyan God Goku banner. But hey, seven stones is better than nothing, right? And uh, as far as the Android side is concerned, I'm not even gonna waste your time because I did a quick look at a bunch of regions on the Android side and it's looking pretty rough there, man. The Android stores, or at least the regions on the Android side, 
none of them are really doing that hot. I mean, I think I've seen a few in the top 20, but none of them were like that close, and I don't know if we're really gonna reach top grossing for any of the regions on the Android side. I don't really know what's going on there, to be honest. I don't know why it's harder for regions to hit top grossing on the Android side, but that seems to be usually the case. Um, I mean, I don't know, I can't really explain it, but as far as the iOS side, we're looking pretty good. Portugal is at number one, bunch of regions on their way. I suspect France will get there at some point and uh, possibly Luxembourg, Macau, Hong Kong, and so on and so forth. We have received top grossing rewards in the past for just the iOS side. I hope that this is one of those cases, one of those times where they decide to give us something even though we didn't hit top grossing on the Android side. And yeah, that is pretty much all the information I have for you guys for this top grossing update. Actually, one thing I do want to add on that kind of concerns me, honestly, is this uh, aged meat and key distribution reward that we all got on both the JP and global side earlier today. And uh, while it's awesome that they gave us a bunch of keys and a bunch of these stamina meat items, um, they're very useful, of course. I'm kind of afraid that they're gonna use this as an excuse to not give us any top grossing rewards, right? They're like, yo, we already gave you something. We gave you a bunch of keys. And if you think about it, the meat giving you stamina is kind of like giving you stones, right? Because usually it requires stones to replenish stamina, right? So giving you these meat items is kind of like giving out stones. I mean, I'm not saying that's their logic. I'm not saying that's gonna happen but it does concern me a little bit, the fact that they gave us these rewards and uh, I'm not trying to sound ungrateful. Obviously I'm happy these things are super useful, but I think given the choice, there isn't a single player out there that would choose keys and stamina items over like 30 dragon stones, for example, right? So just a concern I had, just something I was thinking about that I wanted to let you guys know. I'm not saying that this is a stand in for top grossing rewards, but it could be, it definitely could be. So uh, that is today's video guys. Like I said, possibly top grossing rewards on the way because we did hit top grossing in at least one region. I think that if another region joins Portugal like France or Macau, Hong Kong, Italy, something like that, then our chances are even higher of getting some kind of top grossing reward. But as always with these things, it's never guaranteed. So we're just gonna have to wait and see possibly sometime later this week, we'll get a nice surprise in our gift boxes. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.